eight shocking truths about your money exposed. Did you know that your money has secrets? Secrets that could change the way you think about your finances forever. In today's video, we're busting money myths and exposing eight shocking truths about your money that can turn your financial world upside down. Without wasting any time, let's start with a question that might surprise you. Have you ever thought that if you had a million dollars, you'd be happy? It's a very common belief, right? We often equate wealth with happiness. We see all the glitz and glamour of the rich and famous and assume they must be living the dream. But here's the first shocking truth. Wealth doesn't equate to happiness. Yes, there's a debate that having money to buy things might make you happy in the short term, but it doesn't guarantee long-term satisfaction. Secondly, there's a concept known as hedonic adaptation. This is a psychological phenomenon where people quickly adapt to improve circumstances, and the initial joy they feel fades away. So you might get a thrill from buying a new car, but after a while, that car just becomes part of your normal life. The excitement fades and you're left wanting more. According to a study published in Nature Human Behavior, the ideal income for individuals is $95,000 a year for life satisfaction and $60,000 to $75,000 a year for emotional well-being. When people can earn more than $105,000, their happiness levels actually decreased. Let's move on to another financial misconception, the real cost of debt. Suppose you have a credit card with an annual interest rate of 20%. You make a purchase of $1,000 and decide to pay only the minimum payment each month. Do you know how long it would take to pay off this debt? More than nine years. And the total amount you'd end up paying? Over $2,000. That's more than a double the original amount. So you see the real cost of debt is far more than just the interest you pay. Studies have shown that people in debt are more likely to suffer from mental health issues like depression and anxiety. The constant worry about paying off your debts can take a toll on your well-being. Next up, let's talk about something that many people misunderstand, savings. Many people underestimate the importance of having an emergency fund. They think it's not necessary, or you know something they can put off until later. Let's say you're living paycheck to paycheck with no savings. Suddenly, your car breaks down and needs a $500 repair. Without savings, you're left with two options. Go into debt to pay for the repair, or go without the car. Neither of these options is ideal, right? Now, let's imagine a different scenario. You've been putting a small amount from each paycheck into an emergency fund. When your car breaks down, you can cover the repair costs without going into debt or sacrificing other necessities. That's the power of savings. A good rule of thumb is to have at least three to six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. This can cover major unexpected expenses like medical bills or job loss. Moving on to another financial misconception, the deception of appearances. We live in a society where wealth is often measured by material possessions. You know it. The bigger the house, the fancier the car. The more expensive the clothes, the wealthier the person must be. But don't be fooled by appearances. It's possible for someone to earn a high income, but if they're spending it all on maintaining a lavish lifestyle, they're not really wealthy. They're just living paycheck to paycheck, just like everyone else. On the other hand, there are people who may not appear wealthy because they don't display their wealth. They drive modest cars, live in modest homes, and don't wear designer clothes. Yet, they have a significant amount of wealth. This concept is beautifully illustrated in the book, The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. Stanley and William D. Danko. The authors found that most millionaires don't live in upscale neighborhoods or drive luxury cars. Instead, they live frugally, budget their money, and plan their investments. 
So, appearances can be deceiving. But can you guess what else is deceptive? It's something that many people chase, but few achieve. Get rich quick schemes. They promise fast money with little effort. But the reality is that these schemes often fail. Suppose you decide to invest in a hot stock that promises high returns, but you put all your savings into it, hoping to double or triple your money. But then the stock market crashes and you lose most of your investment. Ah, a classic example of get rich quick scheme gone wrong. Let's consider a different scenario. You decide to invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks and bonds. You don't expect to double your money overnight, but you know that over the long term, the stock market tends to go up. So you invest consistently. Regardless of market ups and downs, over time your investments grow and you build wealth. The difference between these two scenarios is clear. In the first scenario, you're trying to get rich quick and you end up losing. In the second scenario, you're focused on building wealth over time and you end up winning. Next up, we have the hidden cost of small expenses. Let's say you buy a cup of coffee every day for $5. It doesn't seem like much, right? But if you add it up, that's $35 a week, $150 a month, and $1,825 a year. Now, imagine if you put that money into a savings account or invested it instead. Over time, you could build a huge nest egg. Eating out, online shopping, gym memberships, streaming subscriptions, they all add up. And often, we don't even realize how much we're spending until it's too late. Manage these small expenses. Start by tracking your spending. There are plenty of apps and tools that can help you do this. Once you know where your money is going, you can start to make changes. Maybe you can brew your own coffee at home or cancel that subscription you rarely use. We've talked about the hidden cost of small expenses, but what about the silent thief that slowly erodes your purchasing power? Yep, the inflation. If you have $100 in your savings account with an annual interest rate of 1%, after a year, you'll have $101. Let's say the inflation rate is 2%. That means the cost of goods and services has gone up by 2%. So the purchasing power of your $101 is actually less than what you started with. Even though you have more money, you can buy less with it. That's the reality of inflation. According to an interesting study, $1 in 1980 was equivalent in purchasing power to about $3.77 in 2024. That's a cumulative rate of inflation of about 277%. One way to protect your wealth from inflation is to invest in assets that tend to increase in value over time, like stocks, real estate, which can provide a return that just outpaces inflation. Another way to invest in inflation-protected securities, like Treasury Inflation-Protected Securities, TIPS. In the U.S., these investments are designed to provide a return that keeps up with inflation, protecting the purchasing power of your money. We've discussed the reality of inflation, but what about the importance of understanding how money works? Financial literacy is crucial for making informed and better financial decisions. If you want to buy a house, you know you need to save for a down payment, get a mortgage, and pay it off over time. But do you know how to budget for your down payment? Do you understand the terms of your mortgage and how interest works? Do you know how to balance paying off your mortgage with saving for retirement? These are all aspects of financial literacy. Yet, many people lack basic financial knowledge. According to a survey, nearly two-thirds of Americans failed a basic test of financial literacy, and a lack of financial literacy can lead to poor financial decisions, like taking on too much debt or not saving enough for retirement. Today, there are plenty of resources available to improve your knowledge, from books and online courses 
to financial advisors and financial education programs. The key is to take the initiative to learn and apply what you learn to your financial life. Well, that's it for today. So what are your thoughts on these truths? Have you experienced any of them in your own life? Do you have any other financial truths to share? Drop your comments below. Before you go, don't forget to check out our recent video on Financial Planning for Big Moments, Five Strategies for Marriage, Parenthood, and more. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.